So, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me start my presentation with this picture. Many among you can see one face in this illustration, and the others can see two. Have you ever had too much to drink and thought you are seeing two of your best friends? Well, I will confess something. I felt I was seeing two of things more rare than a best friend. I'm Rima Shaddad, a cardiology fellow at Lebanese University, and I'm here to tell you the baffling story of our patient, Mrs. S.G., who gave me double vision, or did she? Today, I will be presenting each and every one of you the opportunity of trailblazing, of solving a mystery, and even better, a really rare one of those. I hope you are now interested in the story I'm about to share with you. So here we go through this rare case of congenital heart disease. Mrs. S.G., a 46-year-old woman with unrelevant past medical history, presented with intermittent chest pain, palpitation, and shortness of breath on moderate exertion. Her physical exam, including heart sounds, was normal. Her vital signs also were within normal limits. Her EKG showed a sinus regular beat without obvious ischemic changes. So we performed an echocardiogram, and this is the parasternal long axis view, as you can see here, showed a structure that is parallel to the septum with color Doppler flow in between. This pattern could be due to abnormal insertion of papillary muscle or something else, we'll see. So this is a short video of the same parasternal long axis view with a color Doppler flow as shown below between the septum and the other parallel structure. Another views, the video on the top is the parasternal short axis view of the heart showing the same structure that is all the time accompanying the septum and sharing the same echogenicity. Below the apical four and the apical two chamber view. <clears throat> then we proceed to other imaging modality, which is the cardiac MRI. So the cardiac MRI showed <clears throat> sorry, features of LV non-compaction and the diagnosis is now clear of the ventricular septal duplication without any ventricular septal defect or any associated thrombus. And this is also a short video showing it clearly in action. Our patient may be the first case in the literature diagnosed with a double septum. The echo may be not sufficient all the time. More additional imaging modalities are also needed to make a clear diagnosis. So what about embryology? The anterventricular septum is the anatomic structure that divides the right and the left ventricle. The formation of the anterventricular septum starts around the fifth week of embryonic development. During the expansion of the primitive right and left ventricles and the addition of migrating myocardial cells, a muscular interventricular septum forms from the primary fold or ring that partially separates the ventricle. By growing from the apex to where the atrioventricular endocardial cushions, the muscular interventricular septum is formed. Any defect in this embryonic phase can result in many congenital anomalies. The duplication of the septum is the rarest one. What about differential diagnosis of this case? So it could be a duplication of interventricular septum, could be also an accessory papillary muscle or a moderator vent. And because of that, I went through the literature and I found a really rare case, same to ours, in which a duplication of the interventricular septum here was associated with a double orifice mitral valve, where the diagnosis is made also with a cardiac MRI. A mimicry of our case, also published in the European Heart Journal with an apically displaced anterolateral papillary muscle, where the base of the papillary muscle is located at the apical one-third of the LV, as you can see here. 
So back to our patient, Mrs. SG was started on beta blockers and follow-up visit after one month, she was nearly asymptomatic. Our case also was published in the Journal of Medical Case Reports. I'm very grateful to have had, to have had the chance to discuss my case with an audience equipped with such a wide fan of experience. I hope I shed enough of the light deserving of this case. And I shall finish with the verse of Paul Vincent Cannon, two hearts are better than eyes. Thank you. If you have any question, you can contact me through my link. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shada. Uh, that uh, was an excellent presentation of the participants here and benefited by sharing your views. Thank you. Bye -bye.